What up everybody on YouTube and internet in general? Yeah, it's your boy B. And uh, right here, right now, we're going to talk about Jay-Z. Who, in my opinion, is the best rapper alive. And your boy Rico is here with, like, counterpoints. So, it's going to be a nice little debate here. Let's go. Jay-Z to me is raw. Everybody know I listen to Jay-Z. I rap Jay-Z the best. I mean, Jay-Z is better than Wayne. He's better than half. He's better than probably all the artists in the industry right now. Besides Eminem and Nas. And Big and Pop. They're dead. Huh? They're dead. Why? You can't say that. Because they're dead. You talking about in the industry now. Eminem. Okay. Nice. I still don't... Uh, the Eminem thing, I doubt that. No. Renegade, he killed him on his own shit. Wow, it's not like they were battling, Rico. It's not like they were competing. He killed him on his own shit. Who else has got killed on their own shit and it's not better than them? Huh? Who else has got killed on their own shit and it's not better than them? Anybody who gets killed on their own shit is not better than the other person. I guess. Anyway, Next. pro proceed. Right. Anyway, like I was saying, I mean, Jay-Z, I mean, I know all his albums, all his shit, but this Kingdom Come album sucked. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So Kingdom Come sucks, huh? Yeah. yeah. So. I'll name the bad songs right Ron, now. Ron, you can only you can count the number of good songs with your pinky fingers, okay? It was like two. Here we go. Okay, Kingdom Come for the damn namesake of the album, that was good. One. Show me what you got. No. Yeah. It sucks. I didn't like Show it. me what you got. Well, a lot of y'all other niggas out there will be show sure what you got, so I count as two. That's like one and a half. Okay. Um the prelude. I like the I like the the what's it called voice the Carlito voice dance. Okay, yeah, yeah, you didn't listen. To, you, did you listen to yeah. the dance song? The zebras and jam, the zebras and jam, the whack lyrics which you get the beat. No, no. Okay, well, I say the prelude. Man. Oh my god! Hell no! <laughs> oh my god! Hell no! That job was wrong. No. Yes. No. Only thing I like about that is the screaming and the fucking beat. Like you should have cut it that out. It wasn't good, Brian. Yeah, that That's was the good. reason the album everybody said it sucked. That wasn't good. That was good. Beast chair. Beat. He had good lyrics, but the song didn't work. He's, oh, he's, what? He's becoming a Nas, as he said. He has good lyrics, but where's the, the song? Isn't good. How's that song not good? It wasn't good. It was good. Oh. Yes. Had an exotic beat. Exotic beat. You can close my eye, nigga. This nigga needs drums and bass 24-7. Bass is needed in every song, you ask me. It should be a law. Exactly. Anyway. <laughs> I say Hope is Back was good. As we see people, he believes every song on CD. I don't believe every song on CD. Everybody good. who listens to Kingdom Come knows. Like, uh... Or, okay, we'll give I didn't really like the Minority Report. There was report. Lost Ones. Minor oh, yeah, I forgot Report, about Lost Ones. Kingdom Come... And the fourth song is split in half with this show me what you got shit. Okay? Oh, what'd you say? You got three of the songs and the last one is split in half. It's half people like show me what you got and half people say the song. So you got three and a half. So what you got? Lost Ones, uh, Kingdom Come, uh, Dig a Hole. Okay, you got four. That counts out show me what you got. So whatever we go. Okay. Or as you got people like Jeezy, just inspiration. It's classic. Yeah, classic. It was classic nigger shit. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say I need something different, nigger. I need something different than these niggas telling me that they got snow. Drugs that I don't use and you don't use. And it, I'm tired of these niggas telling me they got money. Obviously, you got money if you're a fucking rapper. And all you niggas got money. Ludacris therapy was something very different. Okay. That's, that's very good. I applaud Ludacris. But what's that have to do with it? With it? With it? Yeah. Well, who's a better rapper? Right now. You gonna buy the damn CD? I mean, well, think about it. Ludo only had a one bad CD. What? Red Light District. Well, Jay Z only had one bad CD. Or as we know, we're forgetting all his other CDs came out when we were kids. We don't know what they got. 
know how they fun. I mean, if you think about it, I didn't hear that much shit about volume three in my lifetime. Volume three, my, well, it was good though, though, wasn't it? I mean, you see what? I'm talking about what you listen to. I heard like three songs. Hmm. Don't man. I don't even know what's on there myself, so I can't <laughs> say nothing. But all I know is, I'm pretty sure that those songs on there are pretty good. Okay. But anyway. I'm just saying, I mean, that T.I.'s last season was better than J.D. Hmm. Not to mention, Luby did kill that nigga on stomach. Just had to put that in my fault. T.I. But anyway. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's just like, I mean, I want to tell Jay Z. Are they friends now? I guess I don't know. They do what they do for us. They fuck the same way. Anyway, what were you going to say to Jay Z? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I want to tell Jay Z to come back, but I think Jay Z is good. Because that Grammy family freestyle, he was killing him. Jay Z is still up there at the top. In the same kingdom coming with him. Here's what I say about that. I guess he needs better beat selection. Yeah, because I think he tried to go to all the top. Because you think about it, he had people on there making me DJ Khaled. Just Blaze. Khaled was on there? Yeah, Swizzy. All them cats making all these different all these different cats. He trying to expand it every... I think he was trying to get one song for every type of person. Because you know, certain people going to like a DJ Khaled beat. Certain people going to like Just Blaze. You know, maybe they all might like the same thing, but it's like he was trying to get different sounds for every different song. Yeah. And you don't do that because then you're going to have certain people liking this, certain people like that, and then eventually they're going to put it all together and they ain't going to like the same thing, so everybody wants to the shitty CD. I mean, you got to stick to what your sound is most of the part. You can switch up like on a few songs, like, say for Jeezy, like you said. Jeezy, and, Jeezy had some like all songs like that. What was that one with the dude singing the song that sound like a chick or the chick that sound like a dude? That was that slow down thing. Yeah. It was that was a different kind of song. He did that once, twice. On the CD. He, every time, he ain't going to switch it up through the whole CD. Ludacris, release therapy, that slap. That was a different kind of sound for him. But he didn't do it every song. That satisfaction, that was a different kind of beat for him. A different kind of flow. That was what, two songs out of 14? Mm -hmm. He just tried some new shit. They, 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 you don't do that. We need to go back to what he was doing. I'll put it that way. Yeah, yeah. That's what made you the king. That's what you need to continue doing. When you run your eyes like he ain't the king. Okay. So, yeah, the king of hip hop. Biggie. Be dead. They buried him with the crown on his head. No one could take it. No disrespect, but them niggas are dead. They're not coming back. You can remix their old, their old lyrics, put them with new beats all you fucking want to. It's not a new fucking uh, song. Hundred steps up ahead of these niggas. They're not in the air. Bro, you know it. You know it. I know it. Suicidal thoughts. Daisy can't touch that. Suicidal thought. The parents was pretty good. I put it up there with that. Kick in the door. Kick Warning. Door. Story to tell. Give me time and I'll name something. I'm gonna eat on top of my head, nigga. <laughs> hey. Daisy, all the keynotes. You don't go around talking about you better. Baby, that was Biggie. Man, say that. Okay, put it like this. Put it like this, Biggie died when he only had like two public two public release CDs. Two. That means his first and second. So that means if you want to compare them right now, all you could count is Jay-Z's first two CDs. Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt in yeah. Volume 1. That means no Hard Not Life Volume 2. That means no 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 Blueprints. No Black Album, Brian. That means all you have is mostly Reasonable Doubt. Because Volume 1... What was on there? <laughs> now, you just have reasonable doubt, which it compared pretty good to Ready to Die, to tell you the truth. But then you have Life After Death in one and one. Hmm. Hey. Yeah, that's what it is. 
Well, whatever, nigga. We talking about right now niggas who are living and breathing who are still making music. Okay? I mean, maybe when they die and go to heaven, they'll magically beam down a, a beef bix or something and we can listen. But until that day, no. Or maybe we're all gonna die and then we can go up there and listen and then they'll beat battles in heaven. But until then, no. I'm talking about living and breathing. Okay, He's not the kid. talking about that, then, I mean... I don't know, see. There's a difference between your favorite and the best. Cause my favorite, without doubt, be Louis M. Jeezy, Boots, and Wayne. You want to talk about the best right now? Another Eminem? Yeah, Jay-Z and Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue this.